for keeping your skin beautiful? Ooh, honestly, I don't got any secrets. If they've got, if anybody's got any pointers, I don't know what's going on with my skin. I literally have been doing nothing and it's like freaking out. But I will say, I drink a ton of water, which always helps. Wear sunscreen and I stay out of the sun, which is a very hard thing to do in California. But somehow, I'd say about 85, 80, 75% of the time, I managed to do it. <laughs> There's the tips. We like that. Um, Haley in red said, do you have any embarrassing audition stories? Whoa. <laughs> of course I do. Um, any embarrassing audition stories? Let me think. I... There was one, this was, oh man, I had to have been, God, maybe nine, 10. I don't even remember. And I don't even remember what it was for, but the breakdown was very specific in the um, appearance of this character uh, that she wore a lot of super dark makeup, dark clothes, hair in her face, sort of, you know, I, I, I don't, the, the term goth was in there and there were like references and it was a whole thing, right? So I was like, okay, I loved the material, felt really good about it. And I was like, all I gotta do is take to the next level. You know what I'm saying? Just like follow the guidelines here. So I um, never wore makeup really and wasn't really all that into it. And so I had my mom help me. I just remember I looked in the mirror, didn't even recognize myself, turned beet red with all this horrible black makeup on my face, on my eyes. And um, I went in and did the audition and I just remember not even being able to like deliver the lines because I did not feel like myself. I was so distraught with what I was seeing in the mirror that I just <laughs> couldn't deliver. Um, needless to say, it didn't end well, didn't, didn't get the job. But oh, was, I, was, I was hoping for the dream in there. We're like, <laughs> Imagine, I wish. This question comes from BRL Marine. Are there any collabs in part two? Obviously there were none in part one. What about part two? TBD. I will say, I, I feel like I've been collaborating with some amazing writers and producers that um, I think my fans will be excited to see. But uh, as far as features and whatnot, um, I guess you're gonna have to wait and find out. <laughs> I thought you were gonna talk to Martini again. Yeah, <laughs> whenever you, yeah, whenever you, know you get what, out of so. a conversation, get to Martini. <laughs> All right, nobody leaves here without playing a very quick game with us. So this is called Half Written Steinfeld Story. So got a little storybook here. Oh boy! <laughs> and I'm going to begin some lines, and you've got to finish off the lines of the story for me. These nice. should be pretty easy because it's all about your life. Okay, chapter one. Today was hands down the most hilarious day on set of Pitch Perfect 2. Rebel Wilson had us all in stitches because... <laughs> because... Am I making this up or is this a real thing? It can Either be way. whatever. It can be uh, fiction or non-fiction. Uh, Rebel had us all in stitches because... <sighs> She, we were all in a pile of mud, but somehow Rebel ended up uh, uh, digesting some of the the mud, and it didn't end so well, if you know what I mean. The end. Chapter one. <laughs> Thank you, Haley. Chapter two, we're going to move on to, I just finished a scene as Emily Dickinson where everyone mocks her for not being able to cook. We all know that's not true in the real world because... Once people try my mmm, they say it's mmm. Once, once people try, ooh, see, this is, this is trouble, because I don't, mmm. Once people try my cereal ratio, mm. it is absolutely, positively life-changing. Mmm. What's your latest, what's your latest cereal, cereal combination at the moment? I did a little um, Frosted Flake Cheerio combo. Wasn't bad. Hadn't done it before. Not my fave, but it wasn't bad. We're going to move on to chapter three. <laughs> I just wrapped Taylor Swift's Bad Blood music video and the most memorable thing about the experience definitely was... Hmm. The most memorable thing about the experience was 
the uh, imprints on my body that felt like they lasted six years because my suit that I had on was so incredibly tight. Was it uncomfortable? Incredibly uncomfortable, but it was so badass and so sick and there were three of me. So no complaints. I love the sacrifices you make sometimes. You know? <laughs> it's, it's like when, when women wear high heels, I'm like, you're sacrificing every day. Truly. <laughs> Chapter.